From Washington, this is VOA News. I'm Christopher Cruz reporting. President Trump on Wednesday called for a, quote, radical change to the structure of American aid to countries that don't help the U.S. stop violent, illegal immigrants trying to get into America. We're going to work out something where every time somebody comes in from a certain country, we're going to deduct a rather large amount of money from what we give them in aid, if we give them aid at all, which we may not just give them aid at all, because despite all of the reports I hear, I don't believe they're helping us one bit. The president spoke in Long Island, New York on Wednesday. He did not name any one country. President Trump told reporters on Wednesday the U.S. will know if a summit with North Korean dictator Kim Jong-un will take place on June 12th in Singapore is scheduled. He spoke at the White House. Someday a date will happen. It could very well be June 12th. Someday a date will absolutely happen. It could very well be June 12th. We'll see. We'll know next week. North Korea has indicated it might cancel the summit over disagreements on conditions by the United States for unilateral denuclearization. The U.S. State Department issued a health alert Wednesday for its citizens in China in response to what it said was a recent report of a U.S. government employee in Guangzhou experiencing su- uh, subtle and vague but abnormal sensations of sound and pressure. The U.S. Embassy in Beijing said the employee was returned to the United States for evaluation and diagnosed with a mild traumatic brain injury. The Secretary of State Mike Pompeo described it as a serious medical incident. Last year in Cuba, the U.S. reported some of its personnel also experienced a range of similar symptoms. This is VOA News. The former Zimbabwean President Robert Mugabe failed to appear at a parliamentary hearing Wednesday where he was due to give evidence on corruption in the diamond mining industry. The hearing has been rescheduled for Monday. Health officials in Nigeria say 12 people have died from cholera in recent days. More than 100 people have been sickened. The outbreak is happening in the Mubi district in the northeastern state of Adamawa. Cholera causes severe diarrhea and then dehydration and can kill within hours if not treated. The leaders of France and Rwanda promised Wednesday to work together on key African security issues that tried to move forward after bitter differences over Rwanda's 1994 genocide. Correspondent Lisa Bryant reports from Paris. Standing alongside his Rwandan counterpart, Paul Kagame, President Emmanuel Macron said the two leaders have agreed to work pragmatically on issues of mutual concern, especially on African hotspots like the Sahel, Democratic Republic of Congo, and the Central African Republic. Referring to years of tension over the Rwandan genocide, Macron said it was not a question of underestimating the past, but rather assuming it and trying to overcome it. Lisa Bryant for VOA. News, Paris. A well-known religious leader has been removed as head of a training school for pastors in Texas. Associated Press correspondent Walter Ratliff reports. A prominent Southern Baptist Convention leader has been removed as president of a Texas seminary following allegations that he made abusive and demeaning comments to women. The Southwestern Baptist Theological Seminary Board of Trustees said that 75-year-old Paige Patterson was removed Wednesday following a 13-hour meeting. Patterson is accused of commenting on a teenage girl's body, saying female seminarians should work to look attractive and that abused women should almost always stay with their husbands. Patterson rose to prominence in the 1970s while leading a conservative takeover of the Baptist Convention. I'm Walter Ratliff. And now briefly, a federal judge has ruled that President Trump cannot block his critics on Twitter. The judge said it is a violation of the First Amendment to the U.S. Constitution. Italy's president has given political newcomer Giuseppe Conte the opportunity to try to form Western Europe's first populist government. And owners of National Football League teams have approved a policy that lets players stay in the locker room for the playing of the national anthem, but they must stand if they're on the field when the anthem is being played. Thousands of unionized Las Vegas casino hotel workers have voted to authorize a strike at any time starting June 1st. You can find more on these and other late-breaking and developing stories from around the world, around the clock, at voanews.com and on the VOA News mobile app. I'm Christopher Cruz, VOA News. That's the latest world news from VOA.